Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from webhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 7 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, last tutorial, we successfully create a admin site layout and we also create a user site layout. So guys, in this tutorial, we are make a different different pages for these different different sections like we create a header page and we also create a new bar page and we also create a body left and body right page and also footer page so we create these pages using include function of php so just because of uh, include function is a very useful function to create a uh, different different pages for uh, different different sections and it is a uh, most usable and mostly used in every website this function is a very important function so how can we do that just open our user site index file here it is now follow me just select this new tag header and at the end of header press ctrl x now press ctrl n for new file and select php and create then ctrl a and give the backspace to remove ctrl v for paste now ctrl s for save and when we will save this file we will save this file inside our inc folder of user site if you remember we create one folder inc then open it and give the name like header.php save this file now save here control x by s and refresh it here look at this guys our header is not coming now now how can we include our header so we use php tag now we write include function then what we are going to include we are going to include our header file which is available inside our inc folder here it is look at here so now i will write here inc folder and then header.php now come back here refresh it look at this now now our header is perfectly coming just because of include function okay now we are going to cut this new bar from here control and to new page php select remove it and paste it from here press control s for save give the name like new bar dot php save it control s to save refresh and check look at this our new bar is not coming now now we are again use our include function and include our new bar to our index file just simply copy this paste it from here change the header to new bar refresh it okay look at this now now our new bar is coming same way we are cut the body left control n select php control a remove it and control v for paste it Control S for save, give the proper name like body left.php. Save this file, come back again, save, and look at here, our body left is gone now. Now we need to include our body left. So, was, uh, so simply we just copy this, paste it from here, and say body left.php. Refresh it okay now body left is included now our body right control x control n for new page select php paste it from here control s to save now give the name like body right dot php save this okay save here refresh it okay look at this now our body right is gone now we need to include it so 
control C, control V, and body right. Refresh it. Okay, look at this now. All body right is coming. Now we are need a footer. So come back here. Oops, our footer is not here. How can is this possible? Okay, I think the by mistake it's gone. So footer dot oh, sorry not dot. Just close view. End of footer. Inside footer we use I think H4 tag it, it was. Let's check CSS. Okay, here it is H4 tag. For my mistake, I remove it. So sorry for that. Now we need some tags. So simply we just going to our local or royal shop. Here is the, our website. Just simply this footer. Close it. Now paste it from here. Remove the copyright sign and say M person copy. Now let's check. Okay, now look at here. Our footer is coming. Now we need to in the separate page the footer. So control X, control N for new file, PHP, control A, remove it, control V for paste it. Control S for save. Give the name like footer dot php save it now come back here and include our footer by control c control v for here save footer dot php okay guys then refresh it look at this now footer is included perfectly so it is the trick and it is very useful trick to sort your coding and also it is very important and very useful for error handling just because of if we have an error in header tag uh, header view then how can we find it we can find it easily we just open our header file and then we find the error and correct it same way if some error in new bar then we can also find on directly from new bar we does not need to uh, find in different different sections so it is very important and very useful function in php for your uh, sorting your coding saving your time and error handling so same way close it all now user side is complete now we need admin side so back go to admin folder and oops we are in wrong directory we are not for hindi we are for english so going here admin then open index so look at here our uh, our uh, section is ready so just cut it from here control n for new file Select PHP, remove this all, control V, control S for save. Where we will save this file? We will save inside admin folder. Admin folder we have a folder INC. So we are saving this file here. Give the name. Oops. Header dot PHP. Save it. Include it from here by php php close include double code inc folder and then header dot php wrong spelling now refresh and check Okay, look at this, our header is perfectly working. Same way, we cut this, Control X, Control N, PHP, 
select it, remove it, and paste it from here. Control S to save. Say body left dot php. Save it. Simply just copy this. Paste it from here. Change the name to body left. Refresh and check. Okay, look at this. It's perfectly included. Now, last section. Body right. Control X. Control N. PHP. Control A. Remove it. Control U. Paste it. Now, Control S for save. Say body. RIGHT right. PHP. Save this file here. Come back here. Just copy this and paste it from here and change the name to body right right okay guys remove this all now look at this this is how it look like beautiful and two sort coding of our index page look at this only 40 li uh, 14 line coding is in our admin panel in main page so it is the beauty of include function and it is the also beauty of php to do work like this okay guys so this is enough for today but one more thing i think some spaces from top of our header so we are just going to header and say margin top 10 pixel now refresh and check okay now it's looking beautiful so guys, this is enough for today. In next tutorial, we will create a database and we create also some links from our body left section. So guys, for next tutorial, stay connected with me. And one more thing guys, if you like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel because it is very benefit for you for latest update of my channel. So guys, stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.